So Draymond wants a max extension. Two, I think two years, is it two years, $97 million? Something of that nature. But um, yeah, that's what Draymond wants. Uh, welcome to the All Go Podcast. This is episode 36. Um, I have not done a great job of naming the episodes in a consistent basis, so bear with me. I'm relatively new to podcasting, so uh, all trying to get used to all the tips and things of, of uh, you know, the podcasting world. But anywho, um, Draymond is crazy. He's absolutely crazy because the thing is, is number one, what have you done for me lately? And it's that type of league. Uh, and the NBA Finals, Draymond, your own mother tweeted out to fans to stop tweeting her because she doesn't know who that guy is wearing her son's jersey number. Your own mother. If there's anybody who is going to have your back, it is definitely going to be your mother. And she didn't because you were out there just acting a fool, playing terribly. Now, you did bounce back in the in the last few games, but I mean, they, they had to they had to strategically take you out of the game in clutch situations and not a huge deal because it's not like Draymond is a shooter or anything like that. But that is the first time that has happened from what I can recall. So you are literally in the midst of, of playing your worst stretch of basketball. And do you want a 90, a uh, hundred million dollar extension? And on top of that, Golden State already overpaid you. In that that 2019 year, I think that was when you when you signed that deal, 20, 2019, 2020, they paid you $100 million. You were overpaid on the last contract. You were absolutely overpaid on the last contract. And not that he needs to take a, a you know, a pay cut. If guys want to get their money, understood, a thousand percent. But you also got to understand, I mean, Golden State, they it, it, it's not like they haven't done right by you. Um, so they overpaid you. I, I think to expect a max that is that's on par with Draymond, I think. Um, but it, it's one thing to say out loud publicly, I want the max, I think I deserve the max, and it's and then it's something separate to actually get to the bargaining table where your agent is sitting down, you know, with uh with ownership and and demanding the same thing. I, I just think that if you're Draymond. Number one, your skill set fits really well with Golden State. I don't think it would fit well everywhere. Like I saw someone hit um, when the trade proposals were, talk- were being brought about for the Nets. Someone talked about throwing Draymond in there. You couldn't put Draymond and Ben Simmons on the floor together. There, you you have you're going to play three on five when you're on offense because all Ben Simmons can do is dunk. Now Draymond can pass, but so can Ben Simmons. So what? No. That in, in today's uh, positionless basketball and just with the shooting being what it is, you cannot have those two guys on the, on the basketball court together. So, Draymond, you've got to have at least a little bit of awareness to think to yourself and know, like, well, I do have it pretty good. Once again, if you want $97 million, then go for it. But if you are on the open market, Draymond Green, would anybody pay you a two-year, $97 million deal? Now, I'm not saying he should take that information and do anything with it, but I think that should factor into your decision a little bit. Um, for LeBron, two-year, $97 million extension. Is anybody going to pay him that on the open market? Yes, absolutely. There are teams that would absolutely pay him that on the open market. Draymond, I don't think there's any. And... Like I said, Golden State, they did you a solid, man. You, you, you know, in, in 2019, if I'm not mistaken, things were a little, a little rough then. Um, and they, and they, they gave you a $100 million contract. So he can, he can do what he wants. He can demand what he wants. He's a grown man and, and uh, you know, and he's obviously done pretty well for himself. But it, if I were a friend of Draymond, I would say, hey, man, love what you said on the podcast. But don't 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 mess up a good thing, man. Like it, it, this is going this is going pretty well. I mean, you know, outlook. We got a pretty good shot at winning it next year, and uh, you know, 
Or could you get this on the open market? Maybe he thinks he could. I wouldn't chance it, but if you're going state and he's kind of on a, a hardened stance, I mean, I think he's got two years left on his deal. So I'd say, I'd say listen, Draymond, let's play this year out, get the next off season. And then I'd probably try to trade him. I mean, I get it. He's homegrown and, and came in with those, you know, with Steph and Clay and those guys and they built something great, but you, you ain't being reasonable, man. Let, let me get you somewhere where, where they will pay you that, that extension, hundred million dollars, but it ain't, it ain't here. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, please like, and subscribe. I definitely appreciate it and uh, have a good one. Peace.